having some issues. Good morning, peoples. Am I here yet? Are we having internet issues? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, what am I looking for? Let's Okay, what, what am I searching for? No switch. I was in the wrong selection. Try it in there. No switch. Install. Okay. Let's see if it works for multiplayer or not, yeah. Am I live now? For real? Okay, multiplayer, create game. Anyone's welcome to join. Let's find this no switch. And the other one that I had on that didn't work. Let's turn that one off. Continue. Start. I've been trying to get the stream up and running for like half an hour. Well, 25 minutes. But it seems like it's not up right now. It says you're you're on, but it, I cannot find myself. Obviously, we're having internet issues today. Okay. Whoa. Well, that worked at least. I started the game where I ended the game. Cannot tab. Nice. We're going to have to buy some side-by-sides and stuff. Oh yeah, we can't do the DLC one for that. No, because because other people won't have that DLC. Where would the side by sides be in? Cars? No. Miscellaneous? No. Wait, do I have no side by sides installed? Is that? Huh. Um, let's go back, quit the game, and uh, do that. Good morning, Don. Yeah, we'll go.
couple other cars and there's some side by sides in there. Maybe look at a couple of those mods and add them. Loading mod hub. Either farming sim is having issues or we are, we are having internet issues, one or the other. That? Yeah, it's just much worse than normal. Much worse than ever before. Okay, do we have side by sides in here? JCB, New Holland. Oh, I have the John Deere installed already. Okay, good. We'll definitely use that one. I got two John Deeres installed. Lizard four-wheeler, Lizard the Beast, yeah I like that one, let's do Lizard, uh, the two John Deere, that one, yeah, no I didn't do the New Holland JCB one, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the two John Deere, the John Deere 6x4, um, the John Deere, whatever that one is, VUX. We'll do that one. And we'll do the Lizard the Beast. Install. It's uh, for closer to the, right to the front. And maybe Lizard the. the I, I don't like the roof thing, but I think that's probably an option. Um, because you can make it look like a normal four-wheeler. We'll do that one as well. Install. Because we're going to need a bunch of little four-wheelers on the yard if we're going to do no tabbing. Okay. Yes. That's a very popular farm quad. I believe I did four, yes, four mods. I can't forget Don's interest in... Don, you're definitely stacking the deck in your favor. You could. Yes. You'd have to make your own farm. Oh, but then you could only ride it when you join that farm. Yeah, that'd be tricky. Now let's find those quads in here. Oh! Hmm. Might be worth looking into. Yeah. New map? No. Nope. Nope. Not new map. Just um um no tabbing. And player will save where he last quit. And uh, four wheelers and quads and ATVs and stuff like that, so that we can move around because there'll be no tabbing. You can customize your own ATV. Yeah, why not? Anybody that joins, we can buy an ATV just for you. That's your ATV. They're ATVs. You can store them anywhere. They're small. 
So there's the John Deere. Oh, there's that one. Okay, so I did I did three I did four different. There's a John Deere Gator, this John Deere VUX, and then lizard ones. Uh, where are the two lizards? Here we go, the beast and just the quad. Continue. Let's try this again. Oh, Iron Thunder while we're loading this. I'm assuming you have interest. I just added Don. Don and Iron Thunder have stacked this in their favor. Somebody else better start saying they're interested in FS22. Why am I getting tickled? I listened to the rules. Iron Thunder said he's interested. It, the comment just hasn't shown up yet. He said it, it just hasn't shown up yet. Oh yeah, see look, it, I, I show up where I... So yeah, I cannot... Oh. I'm tabbing. I'm tabbing. Why am I tabbing? It ah. Which mod? Oh, that shouldn't be on. Oh, I didn't hit save. That's why. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, look, he's interested. See, I told you the comment was just late. No, no one broke any rules. Create game. Okay, no teleport off, no switch, no switch in vehicle is on. Okay, can I, should I leave no teleport on? Because no switch in vehicle, we could still map two vehicles, going to the map, and then going to it. We don't ever do that, but it would still be on. I guess every now and then if something went wrong, it would still be handy to do that, but as a rule. Yeah, we'll have to buy, which means no equipment will be left out on fields. Unless we save and quit when the equipment that is out there. But yeah, having a couple of quads and side-by-sides will be super handy. Um, I like the idea of side-by-sides giving someone a ride to a tractor. That might be a thing. <laughs> so interested in ranch sim. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, can I tab now? No tabbing allowed. Okay, tabbing is not a thing. I don't think I can afford to buy an ATV right now. Yeah, they're all in the 15 to 20 range. So we're going to have to run for a little bit. Until, unless we make a loan. Hey, Renaris. Are you, are you hangry? You seem hangry. What's to eat?
Renaris, am I adding you to the list? Are, are you are you wanting your name added again on the Farm Sim 22 giveaway? Sounds good, Iron Thunder. I don't think Ranch Sim is multiplayer, is it? It might Ranch Sim might be multiplayer, I'm not sure. I'm making the assumption that Renaris is gonna say yes. So, Ranch Sim is realistic multiplayer? Four player. Oh, okay, we voted on Ranch Sim. Oh, I better look at the list. See if I feel differently about any of the games. Um, hang on, hang on. Let's put a vehicle there then. I will break the rules just this one time. We were going to break the rules just this one time because we changed the game in the middle of... Which, which is your ATV? Which one of these... Gator is 60, uh, the side-by-side -side is 50, the Lizard Beast is 120, and so is the AT, or the four-wheeler. The Beast, what color is the Beast? Tired, Nikon or Lizard. Lizard looks a little more aggressive. One, two. Do you want a uh, six by s or four wheel, four wheeler or six wheeler? It hold. It would hold more on the back if you add. A six wheel. For the eggs going with six. What's accessories? Um, do you want? Do you want um, rails on the back? Probably. Dwight's far. Look, right there. Yeah. 
Okay, now accessories. You can put stuff on the front here as well if we add these accessories. On the front and on the cage or top, you could put your eggs in there too and still have a four wheeler. And which rims do you want? A completely colored green or just partially colored green? Attachments. You want a rear hitch on it? We're not using precision farming now. Engine setup. Can't. Oh, you can change it. So 60 kilometers per hour. Go anywhere between 60 to 120 kilometers per hour. 100 kilometers per hour. All right. happy with that? Or do you want the accessories on the roof to be different? Oops. Because you can have nothing or just the front or just the top. Light bars on the top. Different lights. Now we pay off the loan. Um, if it's too fast, you can just adjust it and make a smaller engine in it. I know. It, I'm just saying, 100 kilometers per hour might be might be incredibly fast. I don't know. You'll have to test it and see. Come by and say hi. I'm on the grass field. Having issues here. There we go. Good evening, Marka. Morning. Good morning, Marka. I don't know where that came from. That just popped right out. Um, it's getting evening in game, maybe. That's maybe where it came from. There it is. That's Farmer Joe's vehicle. Nobody else can you run that vehicle unless she approves it. Looks like a can am. James is off to play some elite dry Elite Dangerous. Yeah, it's a nice looking unit, the beast. Oh look, you can put straps on the roof. Without the cage, you can still store stuff up there. But no more tabbing. It's going to completely change the way I play the game. Um, we're going to be giving each other's r rides, I think.
I will ask for rides several times because we have equipment out in the middle of nowhere. That will no longer happen. I almost need to buy another quad for myself, make another loan. We'll see. As soon as I need it, I'm just going to make a loan and buy it. I don't need it yet, so. Oh no, I'll still need a ride, even if I get my own. Because you have to remember that you're still going to be in the middle of nowhere every now and then, right? So. Like I plan on keeping all the tree cutting equipment out on the field permanently until we're done with tree cutting, which will be never. So that equipment just won't come home anymore. It's going to completely change the way we play this game. It's going to make it more realistic because we're no longer going to be tabbing from vehicle to vehicle. We have to literally run or drive from one vehicle to another. And yeah, you can take the horses. If you abandon them in the middle of nowhere, they will eventually walk back to the stable themselves, so that would have an advantage if you want a one-way ride. I don't think it opens, but you can remove it. You can remove the, go to customize it and remove all the walls on the back. I don't know. Don't ask questions. If they're willing to pay more money, you go sell it there. This is the biggest tractor we own. I finally said, forget it. I'm not sitting at the shop anymore. I'm going to use this tractor. Because all our other tractors struggle pulling this slurry tank. And we finally have a tractor that does not struggle hauling this tank. What's your question? No, you can have only the side ones missing and just leave the back in. So you have a like a back tailboard thing. As she's okay. We have chocolate ice cream in the fridge. Change the viewpoint higher. The eggs get in the way.
so that's a um but now it won't be the problem now look it's the eggs that were the problem right or is it still doing that yeah the eggs were the problem so it's a collision with the obstacle right and the camera view doesn't go proper if it's too buggy we'll have to try a different one <coughs> and it's a fairly new mod so maybe they'll update it oh that was enough money to pay off a little more of the loan only have ten thousand dollars left on the loan yeah doesn't that look good the black background with the uh, chrome and the lighting I've made some more progress. The mirrors are done. The windshield's done. The whole visor on top is done. The horns got put in. The reflections of the smokestack in the windows. So now we just have to get the air intake, the front grille, and the front wheel. That's all that's left for chrome. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to leave a version of it with only chrome and lights. Nothing else, just the chrome and lights. I might just leave a version of it just like that. And leave all the rest to your imagination. And I think it looks pretty sharp. <coughs> that might be the final version that goes on the buttons. Paintings done on black felt. Hmm. I don't I don't know what that is, but <coughs> I don't believe I ever got those for Christmas as kids. Either way, I think it looks really sharp. Black felt was like a 70s thing. Kit painting to yourself kind of kind of thing. Yes, animals are all close together because you have to do a lot of walking there. Most of our equipment is stored close together. ATV is going to be a must though to go from one equipment area to another equipment area. <coughs> yeah.
Yeah, um, that's where you need to have a, two people to harvest. Harvesting is almost going to be required two people now. Or at least someone's going to have to give you a ride to the farm, or to is going to have to deliver a truck to that field, and then take the quad back. Yeah, it's going to require a, basically you take the combine to a field. Someone follows you with a side by side. You jump in the side-by-side, -side, get a ride back, and take the truck. Yep, it's going to be a lot more real world. Hey, Apollo. How are we doing? I think we're doing good. We have uh, redesigned the way this game works, so with just a couple of mods. <laughs> so no more tabbing from vehicle to vehicle. We have to drive or walk everywhere we go in-game. Velvet is the word you were looking for. Black velvet painting. Let's fill this up, park it, and then um, see what vehicles are out in fields and see if we require a ride or not. Okay, so the drawing was outlined on black velvet, and then you had to paint in the in the lines. Okay. Okay, I think I've seen those before. Yeah. Whoop. Um, trucking is going really easy because Canada's in a lockdown. Um, I've got video of uh, ferry crossings next week, and you just see how empty the ferry ferries are. It sounds so quiet on the ferry. It's just there's no noise. It's just weird. Yeah. So yeah, technically, as of right now, lockdown ends in a week, unless. They, they're going to update us soon, if lock, but currently lockdown ends in a week or so. Yeah, it's a provincial thing. So in British Columbia, we're under lockdown. Um, Alberta to Manitoba, for sure, there's no lockdown. I mean, they have versions of their lockdown, but... But yeah, as far as a trucker goes, <laughs> the roads are empty. <laughs> when when lockdown gets lifted, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss the empty roads. I'll have all these RVs on the road that I'm gonna be complaining about. Mark sent the link of Black Velvet. Oh, that's a really fancy Black Velvet painting, yeah. Yeah, I can see how that would kind of remind you of that.
So yeah, well, it's kind of complicated because each province has its own travel restrictions rules, and then the federal government has its own travel restriction rules. So, because of that, I cannot do any recreational travel inside of BC outside of certain zones. I have to stay in my zone. But, let's say I'm from another province, like our neighboring province, Alberta, they can't stop them from traveling into our province. That's a federal jurisdiction issue. So this long weekend right now, we don't have BC people traveling, but we have outside of province people traveling in the province. And they're telling those people to turn around, but they can't legally stop them. Yeah, they can give you a fine, which you could go to court and fight and probably win. Okay, so I can jump out of that tractor. I think I'm going to focus on bailing, so I can just run there. What other stuff do we have out in fields? I've got a tractor here, here. I can run to that one, probably run to both. And then the f uh, tree cutting. Okay, so I'm going to focus on baling first so I can get rid of that implement. <clears throat> At least a little bit of it. Do a little bit of baling. Yes, that'd be awesome. I don't know how to do that, but that I think that could be done. Because you could... Uh, take what I have here and basically limit it down to five different chrome colors and then two or three different light colors. Yeah, white, light gray, medium gray, dark gray, and then black, or no black, black's not needed. But yeah, you can limit it down to several colors, different blues and greens. Make a stencil kit out of that. Oh, right. If I'm going to run over here to do bailing, I need to make sure there's a tractor here. So there is one tractor here. So I can get in the passenger side here, right? Uh, shift, Alt S, Shift S, Alt Z, Shift Z, S, Z. How do you get into? Maybe I cannot? How can I not be a passenger? Yeah, you try to be passenger. Okay, let's make sure passenger's not broken. Let's go jump into a different tractor. Different tractor. Okay, try jumping in that one. Oh, you can still do that one. So that ATV is not programmed correctly. I jumped out and you automatically became the driver? Hey, Ren Ren's me. Does Canada produce cherries? Holy smokes, we produce cherries. Yes, we do. Okanagan has a lot of cherries. So this ATV, we cannot have passengers in. But it looks so nice. It worked really good for eggs. So that's a bugged up... Huh. I love that thing. Um, could you have passengers on this thing? Probably not. 
We might get rid of those two mods. This one looks like you should be able to put two passengers in there. And this one too, so we might be stuck with the John Deere's. But I think I can, I uh, can only select three different colors. Man, you can customize this a lot. Yeah, this would be two people. No customization at all, though. It just is what it is. I really like that unit. But it's only one person. Yeah, Okanagan has a lot of cherry farms. A lot. That's a shame. Kind of disappointed in that. broken now yeah I, I love that thing except for that yeah cherry season usually July 1st beginning of July Cherries don't store well. Cherries do not store well, so you can only buy cherries when they're in season. You can't buy cherries when they're not in season. They don't they don't do long storage. The only way to get cherries out of season is basically freezing them. Yeah, they become cherry jam. You don't get cherries. You can't just eat. But They have uh, most of your orchards are in eastern Washington, basically Yakima, yeah, Okanagan area. Hey, Rens, me question: Am I uh, adding you to the list? As uh, I did add you to the list. Never mind. I already added you to the list. Cool. Yeah. I think. Maybe not. Let's look at the list. I don't know if you request it or not. I can't remember. Okay, Mike Echo has not said anything today, Iron Thunder has, Don has, Hapco has not, Renaris has, oh, Rensby, you're not even on the list at all, okay, I thought you were on the list, were you interested in FS22? 
the giveaway coming up when the game comes out. We'll add you for the first time then. Of course, Dawn and Iron Thunder are in there a whole bunch of times already. That's not where I'm supposed to be. Here we go. Bye. Save. They've, they've been... Dawn's been doing uh, the best to make sure that catches every single episode to get in there. I mean, everybody's missed a couple episodes, but... Episodes? Every stream. I'm calling streams episodes now? Apparently I'm producing episodes. You guys are still talking of the... Whoa, look at that bale get yeeted out. The squirrel video? I recommend everyone watch that video. If anyone's not following Mark Rober, you should. YouTube Mark ah. Rober. Mark Rober. Here You've I'm probably received whoa, a lot of... Whoa, whoa. Here I'm telling everybody to make sure you follow Mark Rober. Guess what? Look. 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 Okay. I guess people do the same thing to me. They come and watch all the videos and don't actually subscribe. But watch the brand new Squirrel video. Or better yet, watch the older Squirrel videos first. And watch his Glitter Bomb videos. Uh, this guy does not know how to make a boring video. Yeah, that's, it's, it's pretty spectacular. This is a bird feeder, and everything you see surrounding me in my yard is through finishing three creative builds of Gus fans out there. So from Splinter in his I'm gonna get copyrighted. Watch the squirrel video. There we go. I'm not bailing. Yeah, Renzi, mean, you take care of yourself. Priority one. What are you looking for? Um, yeah. Would you be interested in the quad version? That way, we know it's not multiplayer, it's not Let's see how can we customize this. No. But if it's if you can't do two seater anyway, but you're gonna want to be able to transport stuff, right? But we maybe we'll buy this to just transport people, and you can still keep that for. We just know we can't get a ride in that one. Yeah, or we look at more mods. Oh, Wintergarten. Oh, boy. 
That's a rabbit hole. Need to download a school bus to have rides? There's, if, if that many players start joining in game, I will gladly download a school bus. I'll find a school bus. If, that, if enough players join the game that we need a school bus, we will get a school bus. But, you know, usually it's me and Farmer Joe. And then uh, every now and then, now and then, a Renzmi or Iron Thunder will join, but and a Renaris. Iron Thunder and a Renaris join most often. Farmer Joe is always there, but hey, Derek. Oh, Derek, I see you are a Cyan member by now. Cool. Thank you for that. As Jess chose off her yellow... What can you do? Wrap bales. Um, seed a field of oil seed radish with a big bud. It's out on a field but walking distance. And there are obstacles on the field and that's why I was bailing to get rid of the obstacle. I know. It's going to be a different game with these new mods. You have to zoom in. Oh yeah, you can see the big bud. Every dot is on the field. The big bud's right there. Yep, that's the big bud. Yep. And then, here, I'll show the map. So, the big bud's over here, but right over here on this corner is equipment that needs to be moved out of the way but there's tractors in here that you could move out of the way temporarily until that thing has a home over here's a tractor that needs to plant field, field 14 but that's a long run and then way over here is equipment for cutting trees and we'll need to quad our way into there you can go to field 14 and uh, seed barley barley. Seed barley on that field, I think. Either way, you're going to have to walk. You will. Um, unless I come there with a tractor and pick you up with a tractor. Or make a loan. Well, then I need a ride to the shop. Yeah, there's issues. Or just buy a bunch of pickup trucks. Well, yeah, that's the other thing we could do. We could uh, get get a ride to the shop with a pickup truck. The ATVs are just more nimble and don't take up space. And we have two pickup trucks, so yeah, there, that's an option. Just running a pickup truck there. So when you're done seeding that field, bring the tractor back, park it, and let me know, and I will give you a ride with a pickup truck to your side-by-side. -side. What's that? No, let's do it that way. Let's 
it's, the, it's probably the easiest and best way of doing it. Yeah, if you're first just starting off, you would put trees in the back of the pickup, but we've got a big trailer, so there's no point of doing that. But Yeah, the ATV carries your eggs, so that's super handy. The only thing broken on the ATV, well, there's two things broken. The camera view is a little bugged, and the fact that you can't carry passengers in it. And that might be because the universal passenger mod isn't updated. It's probably the passenger mod that's the issue. Yeah, the passenger mod. The passenger mod is not updated to include that ATV, and it's a fairly new one. That's probably what the problem is, right? Okay, I'm going to move that equipment out of the field here in a second. Hey Derek, if you like emojis so much, use my custom one. And then, give me an idea for a fourth custom one. I've got three custom ones that only you members are allowed to use, but I want a fourth one. So I need, I need ideas for a fourth one. Nope, secret word still up out in the open. Nobody's found the secret word. There you go. There's, I like that one. That was my favorite one that I've made so far. Let's drop this here. Yeah, Renaris, you're not eligible for the secret word. yet. It will expire eventually. And I know uh, Marcus said the six month is probably a very long time before you become el eligible again, but I really don't want the same people to win over and over and over again. That's why I have the six month thing. You can't see it, you're colorblind. Oh, the emojis. You must be using a black background then. Because I'm using dark green. The, 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 the uh, mountain is uh, less dark green, but... Yeah, I should use a different color. I should mix it up. So, the question is, what color should the next emoji be, and what should the emoji be? And what happens if I get rid of old emojis and put new ones in their place? But does that mean all of the old comments, those emojis disappear? So you think parking this unit over here would be a good idea? Make a little road over here and then it'd have a green cart behind it so you don't want to back it up. Make kind of a road that goes behind the shop here. We don't have money to do that right now, but...
I have found in market that nobody waits for the higher dollar amount. If if uh, if someone that wants to win, they're gonna go for it at five dollars or at twenty dollars. I'm just like, but it's just five dollars. Why did you try to win at five dollars? But it's five dollars, right? If, if you wait till next week, maybe somebody else has won it already and. If you win five dollars here next week, it'll be five dollars again, right? So, but I found that doesn't matter what the amount is; it doesn't incentivize people at all. So the fact that it's twenty dollars is just more money out of my pocket. If it, I left it at five dollars the whole time, I think people would be just as excited. Which is, I thought that wouldn't be the case, but it seems to be. The next person to come off the list, I think, is Don in a week or so. Week or two. Thanks, Derek. Super appreciate your support. You enjoy the rest of your day. I wonder how detailed a, a emoji has to be. Do you think, I might try it. Do you think if I took that image once it's done and shrunk it down to emoji size, it would work? Because it would be like that, right? It would be tiny. But it might work once it's all the way done. Yeah, that's the thing. Would it still be recognizable? That's my... Would it still be recognizable as... Because Photoshop does a really good job of downsizing. It would look better than what I just did there, but... It might be worth trying and seeing. <clears throat> Wouldn't be too hard to test it once I'm done. Just downsize the photo and just try it out. Well, no, um, if I would make it into the small emoji, I would downsize it to very, only a few pixels. <coughs> it wouldn't take a long t time to load. <coughs> I would downsize the picture to be a tiny little picture. It wouldn't, it'd be about if I did that, would it still be recognizable? <clears throat> yeah, that just is showing of someone that has very detailed icons, so maybe. Okay, so you can go to anyone's channel, hit join, and see what their emojis look like. Yeah, we'll find out. Once once it's done, I'll give it a shot and see what it looks like. 
how many pixels? Actually, I can do that right now. Um, how many pixels does uh? Okay, let's go to YouTube. Pull that off just in case it shows something I'm not allowed to show or give away. My channel. Manage my videos. Uh, monetization. Members. I don't mind showing this stuff. Um, how do I? Here we go. Badges. Edit. Uh, they have to be 32 by 32 pixels. Oh, emojis. Oh, there. 32 by 32. Okay. So, cancel, close. So if we went here. Let's start with. this. Let's yes, save that. Image size. Not canvas size. Image size. Image size. 32. Canvas size. Didn't do the background black like I thought I did. <clears throat> but that's what it looks like as pixels. You zoom out as an emoji, it would look something like that. So so far, that's not great. Close. No, I do not want to save that. Would be very bad to save that. Very bad. Yeah, everything has to be within 32 pixels. I could do pixel art in 32 by 32 and figure out something cool. So yeah, basically take graph paper and go 32 squares by 32 squares and uh, design something inside of those 32 squares. That would make a good emoji. Yeah, and the, and the truck isn't done. So once the truck is finished, it might be a little more recognizable. Let's just nudge that bale out of the way. I have to wait and see. But currently it doesn't look great. Different background colors might make a difference too. Yeah, you can save them as GIFs so they have no background at all, yes. In fact, that mine are. Did, if you use on a black background, the background's black and... Yeah. You can use pixel, pixel, pis, pix, piscale, pascal.
basically a pixel art program. I should um, put that in my Google list or else I'm going to forget to look at it. Oh yeah, yeah. I see a pixel art. It's worth looking into. <clears throat> and you could use that to make your own avatars even if you don't use it for anything else. Iron Thunder is back. Cool. Yeah, Jess has got some pretty cool new art for her channel coming up. Yes, people would be interested in Photoshop tutorials. Absolutely. What's Jess's channel's name? It's in the description down below. Better be. I accidentally removed stuff, so... It... It should be... I'm gonna go really... Oh boy. Oh, let's mute myself. Description... Yes, Jess's YouTube. There we go. She uh, plays a lot of uh, Planet Zoo. Usually once a week or so. There you go, Marka. Thanks. Honestly, her channel looks more professional than mine is. And she's only got 20 subscribers. She, is, she said, I only had 19. What happened? <laughs> Someone just subscribed. And tell her to start making more videos than just one a week. And tell her to, tell her to uh, release the video the same day every week at the same time. I think people like consistency. At least the same day type of thing. It's like, hey, every Wednesday I can go check and see what the newest video was. <clears throat> but that's one of the reasons I always, on weekends, I do the live stream. At the try to get the live stream near the same time every every weekend. So. Sometimes it's kind of fun not to know as well. Yeah, you can... It, you know what? If YouTube did a much better job of letting me know when someone was live, I'd be happy with that. If YouTube would tell me, hey, someone that you're subscribed to is live now every single time, I'm like, well, it wouldn't matter when you do a live stream then. That's what the bell is supposed to do, but it doesn't.
Welcome, Iron Thunder. You're stuck at the shop. Um, yeah, just stay at the shop, Iron Thunder. Just, just stay there. I'll have a vehicle for you to bring down. Need a horse station near the shop. Uh, that'd be a good idea, too. That way you can just ride the horse to... Uh... But going forward, though, you should be saved on wherever you quit. So when, when we're calling at the end of the stream, try to get to the main farm. Jess has really nice thumbnails, doesn't she? Um... Uh, we, we have an uh, in-law that uh, does a really good job of making those. Uh, they made uh, my, th my, uh, my um, avatar and Jess's avatar and then her thumbnails with her Jess on them. Like Jess sends in pictures of herself and they make avatars based off those pictures. So they're cute cute versions of us. I have to send in a new picture because my beard's gotten a lot more gray than my avatar is, so need to make need to get them to make me a new avatar. I was gonna put them in the description, say avatar made by. Never did that. Now right now with a contest not contest, giveaway going on, I don't have room for anything else. Yeah, Affinity Photo is pretty cool. It's a little bit hard to get used to the different screens and stuff. Okay, Iron Thunder, so it's not just y us then. Um, today we were having a really weird laggy issues with FS. It's like just getting the mods. Everything was just so weird. I'm like, we're having internet issues or FS19 is having internet issues. I bet they put FS22 on the system, onto their server. I bet you FS22 is on their server for the first time and it's lagging their server out. Probably in alpha testing, alpha or beta testing on their server because FarmCon is coming out soon and they're gonna wanna play that game live at FarmCon I, I think it's, no, so it might not be a server for even single player, you were lagging. Um, but we were, we were definitely having issues with FS19. I, I think it's an FS22 thing. They probably are trying something. Or maybe they wrote code for FS19 to test FS22 to code in the background or something. When is FS22 going to be released? This fall sometime. I 
haven't given us a date yet but this fall and so far it's not been impressive at all so far they have not shown me anything on FS22 that has made me go yes I need to buy that immediately uh, my frames per second are at 22 26 27 so same issue there The thing, if you start doing tutorial videos, you'd probably learn as much as you're teaching people. Because people would come and give you suggestions as well and go, hey, why don't you do it this way? And it's like, why didn't I do it that way? <laughs> Learning together. Yeah, show off how you do things by teaching other people to do the same thing you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, runs me. Um, FS22 currently has um, absolutely. You can seed. Uh, what equipment were you thinking of seeding with? Because Big Bud only. Basically, if you're going to run the Big Bud seed, oil seed, radish, go nuts. And if you're going to run any of the other seeders, we'll have to figure out what you want to seed. Oh yeah, Big Bud, oil seed. Any fields that are harvested that need oil seed. I think it's just the one there. Don't run over your ATV? Well, don't park your ATV on the field. <laughs> um, you want to ride to your ATV now? Oh, you are ang angry. I would get mad for that. Absolutely. Angry and mad. We're having a live argument, guys. This is very dramatic. The world is ending. We're doing this for publicity stunts. You should have done that. We'll just. We'll, it's almost going to be to midnight. We'll have lots of money after that. If we run out of money, we'll just borrow a little more until we can pay off the loan after midnight. <coughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, FS22. Currently, they haven't shown anything cool that makes me want to go buy it. I'm going to go buy it just because I enjoy the game and I like playing live stream the newest game. But, should, will I recommend it for other people to buy right now? 
I wouldn't even recommend FS19. I would say buy a buy FS17 for uh, when it's on sale. But will they show something cool in the future? As they do, like FarmCon will re will reveal a lot about the game. That'll be actual gameplay. We'll see what kind of secrets they release at FarmCon. And um, they might still be able to make to make the game. They might have features in the game that makes me go, "Yes, absolutely, I have to buy FS22." But yes, currently they haven't shown me anything that makes me want to do that. Um, they have changed the um, engine. So higher graphics will be possible. Higher frame rate will be possible. But that's nothing too exciting to get it. Or nothing t all that exciting. Yeah. That can be parked anywhere in that building. I like if you park them close to each other, the equipment close to each other, close to each other because there's a lot, lot of other equi equipment in the field, so don't leave a big space between equipment there's, but there's no order in how the equipment needs to be parked in the shop just try to park stuff close together Well, Ren's mean. I don't agree with that totally. Um, American Truck Simulator forces you to buy the DLC, which is like buying a new game. So American Simulator actually is charging more money in the long run than FS. Um, but it's just a different way of making money. But American Truck Sim is going back to like old states and like going to California and upgrading those for free of charge. So that is nice. Um, there are different ways of making money, but both are still expensive. You're not buying a brand new game for ATS, but you're buying for new states. So you're buying a lot of DLCs. Which can get very expensive. Steam sale next weekend. Big Steam sale next weekend. So if you guys want to buy new games, next weekend might be the one to go take a look. Or you just walk there? Okay. Okay, things to do. Let's go through the list and see. So there would be wrapping of bales. Um, let's see a growth. Um, we've got... Um, this field and this field can be seeded. So these long, narrow ones. Um, we can seed um, oat on one of them and cotton on the other. One will have to be plowed first. Um, down here, these can be seeded as well, and those are plowed. So, well, those two small ones count as one. So you could plow this big one here if you want that one to be cotton. That, uh, this one here. So, so we could do oat on this little one here.
cotton on this one and then canola down here on these two. That would work. For cotton, you... For canola, canola, so for oat and canola you can use the same cedar you were using. And for cotton you need the other cedar and you need to plow the field first. the wrong button. The one on the very end would be the plow to use, yes. That'd be the plow to use, it's the bigger one. Okay. And of course, the downside runs me to having a game that only does DLCs is the graphics don't get better. Having said that, FS17, 19, and 22, the graphics don't seem to be that much different. They're, they're slight upgrades. But it, um, yeah, it's just different ways of making money. Um, FS19 should have been a DLC for FS17. I agree with that. And as of so far, FS19 hasn't given us anything new that couldn't just be a DLC upgrade. Yeah, Mark, I looked at that too already. I am getting hungry. But I just didn't want to end the stream yet. But yeah, I looked at the time and I'm like, huh, I am hungry. What do you feel like? Ice cream? Mm -hmm. The big bud, the articulation. Yeah, it's a little tricky running that seed cart. Yep, it's a little tricky learning that seed cart with the big bud articulation. Yep. And, and, uh, your frame frame rate probably doesn't help. You scream ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Yesterday I felt like chocolate ice cream. You've bought the chocolate ice cream, but not right now. All right, Apollo, have yourself a good night. Yes, I very much appreciate the uh, chat as well. It's the only reason I'm here. Um, you don't have to use the big bud. You can go park the big bud in the in the f in storage and use the uh, Fent or the John Deere with the um, or the big Challenger. So um, that seed cart could be hauled by. The Fent with the Dooleys on it, the John Deere with the Dooleys on it, or the Challenger with the, uh, just the two-track Challenger. But the two-track Challenger is a little spasmic to run as well. It can be challenging, but I don't mind if you swap to a different tractor to run with that seed cart. I prefer running that seed cart with that big bud. 
but that's my preference. Mm, do I feel like continuing with the bales? Let's start wrapping some bales. I don't feel like finishing wrapping all the bales, but I'm going to start. Yeah, like my frames per sec, like they're getting down to 13. So Iron Thunder, I really don't think it's just your computer. Because anything under 30 starts affecting gameplay. There could be a new mod that... I don't know. Uh, I... I'm not convinced we can blame your computer for it, but it might be your computer, but... Well, anything over 30 frames per second doesn't really matter. Because our eyes can only really see 30-ish frames per second, so if you're getting over 30, that'd be, that'd be optimal. I'm getting 26 right now, so that's... At 26, people can see the background glitching out every now and then. The game's stuttering a little bit. I think a lot of movies are at 20-something. Mark, are you cold? Oh, ice cream. Ice cream's an evening stack just before bed. <laughs> Thought that would get you. You start seeing a difference when it's over, or stop seeing a difference over 60. Okay, so you would agree with Ren's me. doesn't really affect me in my sleep. I can eat a stack of cookies right before bed and just go lay down and sleep. In fact, just as I, when I fall asleep, I'm gone. I lay down and all of a sudden just like a switch. I like, I don't like lukewarm water. It has to be cool, but ice cold is too cold for me. My lungs don't like it. I really like ice cold water. I prefer ice cold water, but my lungs definitely don't like it. I don't know what ice milk is. Never had ice milk.
guy rends me. I'm not going to get into that subject because I don't want to get demonetized again. for the other bale. Ah, come on. What are you getting for frames per second? Yeah. Iron Thunder, we're definitely having lagging issues too. Farmer Joe's having all sorts of weird issues too. It it can't just be your computer. I think they made changes and our computers are reacting differently to those changes. Yeah, it reminds me, Manitoba's kind of out of control with that subject. They're a lot of people are being dumb. People need to take it seriously. if people would take things more seriously, the government wouldn't have to step in and do stuff. But Manitoba's always been super conservative that way, so... Can't take away my rights. The newest one is, what would Jesus do? Use your immune system. Well, that's what pokes are. We're using our immune system. That's what that is. We Jesus also gave us brains to use our own brain to use technology. I've seen that quote quite a bit in friends post in Manitoba. It's like you guys are insane. I think people need to turn off their TV, stop listening to the media, stop listening to Facebook. And stop sharing more crazy rumor stories with no fact. That's what people need to stop doing. Like, uh, people were handing out pamphlets in town. Um, I said I wasn't going to get into the subject, and here I am, but I'm going to not try to use keywords. We're handing out pamphlets in town, and they were using sources ba out of movies. They were using movies as sources. Here's our sources. This is why we sh it's like, um, it's a movie. You are literally sourcing a movie. Start sourcing doctors, not movies. Doctors have spent a lot of money in school to uh, learn to know what they know. 
And yes, some doctors are completely incompetent out there, but the rule of thumb is you ask all the people in the room and come up with a consensus, um, you'll come up with a fairly reliably right answer. So if you listen to the majority of doctors, you'll probably get the right answer. If you listen to the majority of scientists, you'll probably get the right answer. If you listen to one scientist that has done a study, yeah, well maybe don't put too much weight into that study because you can get any study to say what you want it to say. You, or you can find a study to support your belief system. Well get someone that's done the study 15 times or 15 different scientists that have done the same study then we can go and say yeah you got a point now who's paid for the study so stop stop quoting movies as a source to a fact of why you shouldn't wear a mask or come on we, we all can believe in different things we can all I think we can be conservative and liberal, far left, far right, and get along, but we have to listen to reason. We cannot quote one person, because that happens both on the far right and on the far left. It's like both sides are crazy. Let's let's find the common consensus and agree with what we can agree. Hey, we probably shouldn't be touching our faces with our hands when there's some kind of disease going around. Okay, well, wearing a mask would prevent you from touching your face. So, it might be a good idea to wear the face or the mask. Even if you don't believe the mask will stop the germs, it'll stop you from touching your face, stopping the spread of the germs. Okay, let's go do that. We can agree on that if it's far left or far right. Yes, like Japan. Anyone that gets sick in Japan, they've been doing this for generations. In China too, they've been doing this for generations. They put a mask on when they're sick. It's the courteous thing to do. Oh, I'm sick. I'll put a mask on so I don't spread it to my neighbor. They don't get sick as often as we do. Doesn't matter what the disease is. I don't know the Baptist Church in Winkler. I have a friend that goes to that church but I don't know no the answer is no my church is uh, a Grace Mennonite Church in Winkler and hey Harmer, farmer boy farmer boy Harmer, farmer boy I don't know why I was saying Harmer we're doing good doing good it's getting dark in game though and we probably should quit and go for lunch well let's see how far is iron thunder with that field i'm sorry for lagging you out farm or iron thunder is halfway over halfway done with that field um farmer joe is almost halfway done with that field Maybe we'll wait a little bit and see if we can get those two fields done. I hadn't heard a pathway. Yeah, I haven't actually gone to my church in years, but I'm still a member. Oh, 
close the chicken coop before the chickens run the coop or fly the coop. Leave the chicken coop open? Well, no, no, it, it's to prevent weasels and stuff like that to come in and eat the chickens at night. Oh, no, no, the, um, chickens can't get out of the fences, but there are creatures that will get through the fence and still eat your chickens. That's why you have to go close the actual door. So, yeah, you still want to close the, like, a wooden latch door. Wait, uh, reminds me, are you saying Pathway is in Grace Church, out of the same building? Is that what you're saying? Or, I don't know, there might be a misquote in there. hard time seeing. Let's turn on GPS. Load the mower. That way we can see where the mower drove. You can follow the same lines. Oh, no way. Yeah. Raccoons are vicious creatures. Chimpanzees will do that to birds? Huh. I guess you're playing the zoo game and you're learning about chimpanzees. Well, that's Reddit. Jaguars hunt for fun, not for food. Really? So they're more hunting for um, protecting my zone, my area, my... This is my territory and I will hunt anything in the territory. So Jaguar most dangerous because they will hunt for fun and the second most dangerous is a primate. Chimp gorilla. Because they're vicious. Oh, really? No way. I did not know that. So why do zoos have petting zoos? Why do zoos have petting zoos?
whole reason zoos have petting zoos is to grow domestic animals. And they figured, hey, we're growing these domestic animals. We might as well allow people to pet them and enjoy that as well. And once they've grown up, we're going to feed them to the lions. So that cute goat you were petting in the petting zoo? Yeah, that jaguar got to eat it. There's chickens running around in there? Yeah, those snakes over there are going to eat the chicken. That's why zoos have domestic farms. Yeah, instinctual practice maybe, yeah. But I think it's also uh, defending their territory too, right? But... Because even tame ta cats will... They bring home dead stuff. Just... They like hunting. Instinctually they're bringing food back home to the family, right? You did a one word answer and you're waiting for a response? Well, I don't understand the one word answer, so I can't respond to something I don't understand. I don't know the context to it. Oh! Oh! Holy smokes, rends me. That's the context. The game is the context. Hi, yay, yay. Cool. Um, we have a winner. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what Ransby's talking about. It the, I'm like, I don't understand. And then I start talking about it, and then all of a sudden I understand. That's kind of funny. I forgot my own secret word. What is today's date? Um, Twenty-third. Thanks. There we go. Just put a zero in there for now because someone won. Save. Did I hit save? Save. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I totally misread the... Oh, it's hilarious. Welcome back, Iron Thunder. Did the chickens fly, fly their coop? Now I need to come up with a new secret word. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Let's um, sell what the word we have. 
Oh yeah, yeah I mean, you guys can get a lot of lag right now. She accuses me of lagging her out as if it's my fault. I'll eventually find... Hang on, am I just going through? I've seen these all already. Category, owned items. Oh, wait. Um, decoration. Garage. Oh, but that didn't make a difference. Still went to that. What? I'm confused. It's all the equipment. Where's all the buildings? There we go, here's buildings now. Where's our ladders? There we go. They've change something. Yes. I'm lagging you guys out, I know. Luckily it's only four ladders. This is like completely lock you guys up. Only one ladder left. There we go. Secret word's gone. I won't lag you out anymore. Good thing I sold those letters or else you guys couldn't have repaired the equipment. That's a good question. Have I heard? <laughs> I'm sure there's more more to that question. Just like the word love, there had to be more to it. Alright Mark, uh, thanks for joining. We're going to be bailing out here pretty quick too. As soon as, uh, well let's look at the map. Oh yeah, Iron Thunder is almost on that field. As soon as that field is seeded. Bird is the word. I don't get it. Oh, that's the next secret word, bird. I've never heard of the song, Bird is the word. Negative. Do not know the song.
Yeah, if you guys ever drop in context stuff that clue, you know, to local or, you know, to social media and to just things that everybody knows, I don't. I didn't grow up with TV. I didn't grow up with music. I didn't grow up with velvet poster kits. Jess says now we're gonna get some. Oh, I bumped the wood pellet. Wood, wool pellet. It was still filling, right? No? Yeah, okay. I'm like, I bumped it, but it should still be filling. Um, so I'm like, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Love is all you need. It's another song. I think that one sounds familiar. I guess I should say to Marka, au revoir. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. What? Au revoir. Uh, Vabiento? Vabiento? Vabiento. I wonder if anyone knows French. Jerome was learning it. Baguette. Croissant. Uh, Abiento would be see you next time or see you again something like that or uh, bonsoir I guess that'd be good night Au revoir is goodbye. Parlez, parlez vous français? Is that vous? That's, I don't think it's vous. Parlez, va, parlez. Parlez is talk. Speak, talk. Yeah, parlez tu. There we go. T U. Parlez tu, Francais. Do you speak French? Parlez tu. So T U. 
Uh, it might be, yeah, T-O-I because it's a question. So, parlez to T-O-I, Francais. And the parlay would have an ES on the end because it's a question. Or asking, uh, yeah, you, it's a you question. Yep, parlay, parlay to fran Francais. There we go. We? Oui? We oui is actually spelled O or W. No, no, we oui is O O I D I O O I E or something like that. O U I is we. O O U I. There you go. Parlez tout français. O U I is we. Oui. Yep. And no is. N O N. Holy, I'm actually some of the stuff's actually sticking. <laughs> yeah, French and Spanish are very similar. Come would be Como would be what? Yeah, come, it sounds like, or it looks like it should be comment, but it's it's just a what. What? Come. In Spanish, it's comment. <laughs> yeah, como would be comment. No? Come. Como Sava? Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, how? Como. Como. Como Sava? Is that a question? Is that correct? Como Sava would be how are you? Or would that just be Sava? Salut, Sava. Hi, how are you? Can't reach the fertilizer. There's trees in the way. <laughs> oh, Iron Thunder, there's um, another seed and fertilizer over here. So you don't have to work your way into the farm. We've added seed and fertilizer over here. So you're at, you're at the hard one to get to, the old original one. But the first one's seed, the second one is fertilizer over here. It's much easier to fill it over here. <laughs> Weeds are starting on the field you just planted? Yeah, <laughs> that happens. Farmer Joe has left server. We'll wait for Iron Thunder to finish filling or whatever he's, yeah, finishing off with. And I will just call it a day as soon as he's put his equipment away. And you start the game where you leave, so that'll... Repairing everything, thank you. You mean making me bankrupt? It should still let you repair it, even if it's minus, right? I think so. If it doesn't, I'll borrow some money. 
Okay, you won't be able to fill fertilizer. Okay, well then I'll just borrow money. I, 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 I'm breaking the rule just this one time because we changed the way the game works so much that we will borrow money the one time after midnight we'll pay off the money and then we'll not borrow money again after that but just because we changed the way the game works essentially making it a completely new game that we're gonna borrow money just so that the game is playable again Yeah, I don't think you need como sava. I can just say sava. Oh, you do como? Because como would be how are you, but sava is how are you. So I guess if you only do how are you, you should put the como, como sava. But if you go salu sava, you can say, hi, how are you? You almost need another word there? I don't know. You're going to have a tough time putting farm sim game into court where I have mine. Uh, Iron Thunder said he is done, so I'm just going to go to the end of the row here, turn around, and uh, quit as well. How much was the jackpot? It was 20 bucks. I think I'll probably have to do that in two gift cards. We'll see. But yeah, 20 bucks. Oh, there's a bail there. Yeah, 20 bucks on the way to your ends me after the game ends. Oh, the same way I have it set up with the no teleporting and stuff. Yeah, it's different. I, I really like it. I, I think I think it adds a little more simulation to it. Um, if we wanted to add um, uh, precision farming to this map I'm not opposed to it but if we want to do that we will harvest all fields first because it messes up the fertilization and everything we'll basically bring all fields to empty empty fields before we try that again but yeah all right I'm out of here Thank you guys so much for watching and playing and uh, joining in with the contest, even if I, not contest, giveaway. Joining in with a giveaway, even if uh, I don't understand what's going on. This is fun. It's dark. Next time I do a live stream, it should be back in daylight again. Let's hit save game. Quit. And we're out of here. Thanks again, guys. You guys rock.